The government of Azerbaijan, as well as its representatives in this assembly, want us to forget about the Nagorno-Karabakh conflict. They don't want you to use the name of this unrecognized state. They don't want you to speak about the human toll of, the, of its aggression during the 44-day war in 2020. Moreover, Azerbaijan has since May 2021 occupied sovereign territories of Armenia, launched a new three-day intensive hostilities last September in the southern Armenia, and since then have refused to withdraw from our lands and even built fortifications. Today we are witnessing a grave humanitarian crisis in Nagorno-Karabakh. Azerbaijani government has imposed a 46-day and counting siege on Nagorno-Karabakh, depriving its people of their right to live in dignity, freedom of movement, import of food supplies, medicine, and other essential goods. This is not just a human rights issue, but a manifestation of a state policy of ethnic cleansing by Azerbaijan. I believe Europe must stay focused on Nagorno-Karabakh. In that context, it's quite strange that the decision to dispatch a pace monitoring mission for fact-finding purposes in the region is not being implemented. What is this? Indifference or expression of dysfunctionality of our organization? The Democracy Index by The Economist defines Azerbaijan as an authoritarian state. It has been ruled by the same family for more than 40 years, and over the past 30 years, has started free war against the Armenians of Nagorno-Karabakh, killing thousands of people, destroying the cultural and religious heritage of the Armenian people. Today, it terrorizes the Armenian through the siege of Lachin Corridor. Given the authoritarian and terrorist nature of Azerbaijan, is it possible to imagine Nagorno-Karabakh as part of it? Azerbaijan has for years manipulated the public opinion in our organization something they are now unable to do in European Parliament, in United Nations Security Council, or OSCE. We have to reflect on why this is the case. I also want to invite this assembly attention to the fact that Azerbaijan, since late 2022, has begun a process of abolishing the self-governing status of Nakhichevan Autonomous Republic. This is a clear violation of the European Charter of Local Self-Governance that has to be prevented. Madam Chairman, it is also time for this Assembly to very seriously consider non-recognition of credentials of those delegations whose governments are engaged in transborder use of force or other serious and systematic violations of human rights, be that in their own territory or abroad. Thank you.